Welcome guys. The purpose of today's video is to bring into light and to really help you understand that almost all spinal surgeries are actually not necessary. I will tell you this, that 80 to 90% of our patients probably come in for pain, right? I really feel like the results that we get, the number one reason is because our patients have a great understanding of what is actually going on, but just as important, what we can actually do that change that problem that they're having, we can actually visually show them how those problems can actually be fixed. So I'm going to walk you through and give you a good understanding of number one, what problems look like on x-ray, but number two, actually how those problems can be prevented. But it's also important to know that one of the really the main things that we focus on in this office is actually function and healing. And as you can see here, pain versus healing or function, right? So if you turn to this, this is actually a nerve bundle. And I know this is a, probably not the greatest drawing. I'm not an artist, I'm a chiropractor. So when we look at this, this portion of the nerve, 5% of that is actually sensory fibers. So that's gonna be your actual pain fibers, okay? Again, majority of all patients walk through the door for that right there. Well, there's another portion of your nervous system, which is called your autonomic nervous system. And what your autonomic nervous system is, is for controlling basically organs, cells, tissues, and systems of your body. And then you also have, which is the other 45% of your nervous system, is for fine motor function, right? For controlling your arms, the muscles of your body, correct? So when we look at this, and we've got a majority of all patients walking through the door for this, but yet... 45% of the nerves supply every single organ, cell, tissue, and system of the body. Do you think this is important? Absolutely it is. So we like to get our patients to understand because if we just get out of pain and we don't do anything about this and there's nerve pressure there from bone and we leave this here and considering this controls all the organs, the cells, and the tissues and the systems of the body, if we leave that pressure there, what's going to happen to the rest of the organs. For your heart to beat, lungs to breathe, the video that you're watching right now, if you didn't understand what I'm saying, the brain sends all that life down the spinal cord, out the nerves to tell everything what to do. So what we really focus on, this room that we're in right now is actually for spinal correction. This is an MRI report of a most uh, recent patient that came in our office, a new patient. And the surgeon told her that she was actually going to have, have to have spinal surgery. They wanted to fuse a couple of her bones together because she was having a disc protrusion or a disc bulge. And I said, well, let me take a look at your MRI report. And when I looked at it, uh, and as we've determined is when, we, when you think about spinal surgeries, that's a very invasive problem. Like that's something you're stepping into that's very invasive. Okay. They're literally having to cut your you know, back open, typically what they'll do is they'll put rods or they'll put bolts in there and fuse those bones together. So, you know, I consider that extremely invasive and been very dangerous. In 1998 to 2008, an annual number of hospital discharges for primary lumbar fusions increased by 170%. Majority of those surgeries, so over 80% of those people that had a spinal surgery, 80% had one or two more surgeries. So back to this patient, these are the segments that we're referring to in her neck. C2, C3, C3, C4, uh, we get on and down into C5, C6, C6, C7. It says mild, mild, mild. And then their impression down here says mild, mild, minimal, mild. And they're talking about the disc protrusion. So when I look at this, I'm, I think to myself, you know, they're going to do an invasive surgery for something that's very mild. So when she walked in, um, I said, you know, let's let's take a look and see exactly what's going on. So we actually took some x-rays of her spine, and in just a moment we're going to go through that, and I'm going to show you what that looks like, and, and so you can have an understanding of what, it, like a side view of the neck and what those bones are actually doing to the disc. So this is the uh, patient's x-ray that came in. She came in on uh, March 2018, and we took a lateral view of her neck, and I looked at her MRI report, and I looked at her x-ray, and I sat down with her, and I showed her. So we put some lines on there to be able to show her how she had lost the proper curve in the neck. The spine should actually be in this position, a nice curved position. This is looking at someone from the side. Well, when we lose those curves, what that's going to do, you take those curves out of there, that's going to compress those discs, all right? These are the individual nerves that come out. What happens is, is that's compression down on those discs, and that disc will literally start to protrude out. Well, she actually had a reverse curve in her neck. The normal curve in the neck should be anywhere from about 43 to 45 degrees. So that should look like this, okay? And looking at her x-ray, we put some lines on there and she actually was at a negative three degree curve in her neck. 
And then when you look at uh, also too, she had what was called forward head posture. So our, sp our head should actually be over the center portion of our body. Her head had actually started to move forward. Now we're starting to actually call that text neck or tech neck, someone that's looking down all day, things like that, correct? Well, so looking at her x-ray, I said, yeah, you know, you definitely have misalignments in here and this is bad and this is affecting your overall health. So when we get back to feeling and function, yes, she was having pain when, uh, on her intake form she put yeah I had neck pain tingling down in my arms not only that she has been told that you're gonna have to have spinal surgery but also too you're gonna have to potentially get on blood pressure medication because you have pre hypertension so in this neck region these nerves in this area go directly out not only do they supply the nerves that spot down the arm to the hands they also supply they branch off and they supply the heart so not only was she having 5% of that nerve, which is for pain, pressure on that, it was also affecting her functioning fibers to her heart. And after 12 visits later, which was just a month later, we actually showed her how her spine was corrected. So we got her spine, as you can see here, to 32 degrees. Her forward head posture now is down to 11 millimeters. So within, literally within four weeks, we visually could show her how this change could actually occur. So instead of her having to have an invasive surgery, and then thinking about those statistics, she's prevented herself from, you know, leading into more surgeries in the future. As before, as I've mentioned, 80% of the time, those people have one to two more surgeries. So by doing spinal correction, we could change her spine, but then show her the right things to do so those problems don't reoccur. So as I've mentioned before, a majority of all our patients walk through that door for pain, right? But as you know now, that 45% of that nerve is for supplying life to the organ. So how important do you think it is to get your nervous system evaluated to see if there's pressure on those nerves that supply your organs? I think it's vital, right? So what we'll give you an opportunity to do is, is you can actually come into our office to be able to determine, do you have nerve pressure? You know, to prevent any kind of problems in the future. You can reach us at 615-646-6700. Again, that number is 615-646-6700.